I hope you're all well. So today I want to show you a way that you can use up your scraps. So your scraps of vinyl. So I have got lots and lots of scraps here. Now these are all the same vinyl. When you're doing this, they don't necessarily have to be the same vinyl, but they do have to be able to cut on the same cut settings. So you wouldn't do a row of premium permanent vinyl with a row next to it of glitter vinyl, for example. They all have to be able to cut on the same cut setting. Now I've come in and I've trimmed these into one inch strips using my Cricut trimmer. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to start adding them to my mat. And I'm putting them on my mat so I've got no gaps. So this is why it's really important if you're going to do this, you trim them using a trimmer so that you can make sure your lines are nice and straight. And you just want to push it so they are pretty much side by side. I've got no gaps in between these three strips. space and I'm using the font NN Unicorn. Love this font. I absolutely love this font. I want to jazz it up just a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my letter spacing so that they are a little bit closer together. And the E and the N is too close now so let's just And in fact, I'm just going to go to advanced ungroup to letters. I'm just going to move those ends using my arrow key just one space up. So I like that as it is. So I'm just going to weld it together. I could attach it together, but I'm just going to weld it for ease. And the other thing I want to do is create a weeding box. And this is going to make it easier for me to weed my letters and to also remove my vinyl in one go from the mat. So if I go and grab a shape, and let's just get a square, I'm going to make it 11.5 inches in width, and let's make it 3.5 inches in height. I'm going to arrange and center back. I'm just going to highlight both and I'm going to align and center. I'm going to attach them together. So what that will do is it will cut out my rectangle, but it will also cut out my text as well. So my rectangle will be my weeding box and then what's left will be my text. But I can also weed out my text if I want to and then it gives me an area to transfer as well. So if we go to make it, I can select my maker, but you can do this on any machine. Of course, with Joy, you might want to think about doing smaller strips because your cut area is smaller. I'm going to browse all materials and I'm just going to type in premium. I'm going to select premium vinyl. And I tend to find with my machine, I have to do a pressure of more. Normally you wouldn't, but I just, from past experience with premium permanent vinyl, I find a pressure of more works better for me.
use my true control knife to weed out just because it is my normal chosen uh, weeding tool just to note though that these are brilliant for weeding but the ones that we have available here in the UK are not actually suitable for weeding well they are but the tip doesn't have a special coating on so the adhesive from vinyl and from iron-on can start to clog the tip up so I actually have about four of these two are for weeding two are for cutting other items the new ones that are out in the states have a special coating to obviously stop the glue from clogging them so just be aware if you do use your true control knife for weeding you might want to have a separate one for cutting and also that you may have to occasionally give it a clean I normally just give it a wipe with a baby wipe and it works fine but you can see it's starting to go slightly discolored that's probably from where I've been cleaning it but I've got plenty of spare blades and as I say this is my my go-to weeding tool text now weeded out and it looks amazing and I am using Cricut transfer tape I can come in and place that over my vinyl it's gone a little bit over onto the remaining vinyl but that's okay I'm not overly worried about that if I lift up a little bit I lift up a little bit I you do want to make sure that you give it a really good scrape on the front now I normally say when transferring vinyl turn it over scrape it from the back and remove from the back it's a little bit tricky with this so you do want to go in and give it a scrape now you should you should as long as you've scraped it properly be able to just come in and lift up and as you can see that is lifting up perfectly I am NOT a big fan of transferring from the front just because it doesn't give you a lot of control and that's always been my issue I like to be in control of things if it's going well transfer it from the front because that's the easier way to do it if you are struggling though you can turn your mat over and you can if you're very careful start transferring from the back now you want to take your time with this and you are going to want to look underneath as you're doing it and actually both methods are working really well so I'm going to now turn my mat back over and I'm going to continue to transfer from the front you see that it's catching just there so what I can do is just come in just take it nice and slow there we go we've got a little bit of catch there where it doesn't want to catch so again there we go 